quite a few questions. So thank you to everyone who submitted their questions. I'm gonna go through these. Um, I think I may have answered some of them, but let's go through it. So is Virtual Booth an app that people would be able to download and use at their current event? So it's not an app, it's literally just a link. So if you were at that slide, and I think Amber also posted the link um, in the chat, I just realized I still have my glasses on, then you can go there and try it out. So there's nothing you need to download and it will work on the majority of phones. So I can't obviously guarantee it'll work on all the phones because some people have some weird settings on their phones. So really easy to use, nothing to download. Virtual booth app based or app based or browser based. It is browser based. So any device that you have that can access the internet can access the virtual booth. What do you think is a fair price point for a virtual booth? So I already went over that, but if you need to uh, recap that, you'll be able to see it in the video links that will be sent to you in about 24 to 48 hours. Is there a text option or just an email option? At the moment, there is just an email option, but I'm sure there'll be lots of upgrades that come out later. Can you do virtual booth with Queso? Unfortunately, right now it is a Salsa app uh, link only uh, since the Queso booth does not have a web app. It is unable to be used with the Queso booth. Can you have virtual booth and a physical Salsa contribute to the same event? Yes. I don't know if you saw that in the slide, but you can have a physical booth set up at an event or even multiple events and also have multiple virtual booths running from everyone's individual phone or desktop computer and it'll all go into the same live gallery. How do you explain to clients without writing or explaining to people who are not familiar or who have heard, who haven't heard about it? I found that the best thing to do is to actually film a little video. So I, I just did a video on my phone where I showed people exactly how it was used. And that is actually when I started getting a lot of traction from people and having them understand exactly how a virtual booth was used. When will this be available? Should be out next week. So keep an eye out for that update. Uh, why would someone want a virtual photo booth over using a hashtag on Instagram for a wedding? Well, I mean, a hashtag on Instagram is very similar to taking a selfie. There's no overlay. It doesn't really go into a gallery that's branded. It just kind of goes into Instagram. And the hashtags are nice because a lot more people see it, but they can take a picture with the virtual booth and then hashtag it on Instagram and you get the best of both worlds. Uh, will this also work on desktop or just mobile? Yes, it will work on anything that has the capability of having a web browser and a camera. Are you providing marketing material for this? Um, at the moment, I, that's actually a good question. Maybe Amber, we can get back on that one, but there is uh, going to be a watermark film that will be available for purchase. And of course, if you do buy a salsa boost, which is right here uh, over the next two days, then you will get it for free. Does virtual booth have an option to have an intro video for the event? Well, since it's a uh, web-based, mm, there's no start screen. So it's just actually a button that people are gonna press. Um, so at the moment, I'm gonna say no, but if that's something that you'd like, feel free to reach out to support at Photo Booth Supply Co and uh, have them add that to the board for features that you would like. I think we have gone through all the questions. Amber, just want to double check that there's no other questions that are coming in. Perfect. Well, thank you guys for joining Virtual Booth 101. I hope you got a lot of information out of this. We are going to have a short commercial break and then we're going to be back with our panel very, very shortly to talk about how to go with the flow during COVID and what all these amazing people are doing to get their business going even during these weird times of this pandemic. So we'll see you back here in just a few minutes.